I want to test her medial meniscus, I hold the inferior aspect of the calcaneus because one of the things that we know about meniscal tears is they occur and reproduce under loaded circumstances. Loaded means weight bearing. Well, I can't do weight bearing, but I can put a little bit of pressure on the tissue. Traction would unload the meniscus. So I'm going to load the meniscus. I want to feel her joint line if I can't find it. Again, hers are conveniently marked. Find the soft spot. Lay my hand over the medial meniscus. I'm going to load. I'm going to pull her into a little bit of varus. And I'm going to shift her up. I've got her locked in extension right now, so I'm going to give myself a head start. And I'm going to push up, feeling for a click, and go back down, feeling for a click. Trying to maintain varus and valgus when you're doing this is hard to do. But if I go just like that, I've got some loading of the joint, but if I'm in valgus, I unload the meniscus and sort of defeat some of the test. You with me? So you're going to do the same thing then on the lateral side. I'm going to put her in a bit of varus and get her in, out of the close pack and just run her up and back. If you go into full extension, you'll have a heck of a time getting back up. I can do it from here much better. And if you've got smaller hands, that's just a better way to do it. So there's varus up and down and feeling for, listening for a click. And then valgus, same thing, but I can't feel the joint line when I do that. So both are acceptable, acceptable alternatives. All right, that's McMurray. You want to add anything to that particular? Because I didn't think, like I said. I need a little bit more rotation sometimes. Actually, it's more for anterior posterior horn tears, the more you rotate it, the more likely you are to reproduce it. Yeah. So that's good. You're and I would repeat it in multiple positions. You hold it in a certain amount of rotation, or you rotate during the movement? I rotate during the movement. Just, yeah. Is it positive if it's pain or a click? Either one? Well, it okay? gives you an indication. So I'll use the heel. I'll cause some rotation. See the eyebrow response? Huh. All right, so I'll come in here. Okay. Fingers stuck in through both sides, and I'm able then to take her down, knowing that starting into this more compressed position, that that last part is probably going to be a little bit more tender. Okay? I've really got her cranked in. And then to go the other side, go to the medial rotation, but she's got a dodgy ankle. <laughs> dodgy ankle. Dodgy ankle. I don't know that That's term. a good term for you. That's I a good need to know that one. Okay. <laughs> so, again, she has, she had, find this out earlier on, she has ankle, ankle weakness, so to rotate from here is going to cause pain. Come above the joint that's not being assessed right now. And again, just take her down into that rotation, palpate. Breathing right up, <laughs> So is that no what clip. you're doing right now, yeah. is testing the lateral? Oh. Are you going, you're going valgus, so. Yeah, okay, so lateral, yeah. I don't think Murray distinguishes you can just ask definition. thumb or I, finger. How you'll know is they'll say, oh, and you say where, and they'll say underneath your finger. That one? Yep. That one? Yep. So. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, some, some longer suggest that there's a little bit more pressure if you go external rotation, it's more of a, a medial meniscus, internal rotation, more of a, a lateral meniscus. Yeah, she just has a little bit. Where are you sort? Medial or lateral? Medial. Yeah. She's not so much from that one, but definitely from this one, too. So the rotation is in place of the varus and valgus? Well, it comes in a little bit with it. I mean, because the act of doing that, okay, to the position that the knee's coming to, it's got that little bit of varus. Okay. Valgus in there, varus in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just